What's up, YouTube? It's your boy, EMZ from EMZ Talks Boxing. As you all know, today is the day that Earl Spence and Sean Porter meet up. So, I figured I might as well stop by and let you know who I'm riding with. It's going to be a good fight, I believe. I believe Sean Porter is going to look good for the first three rounds. And then from there, he's going to be in rough waters. Simple as that. A lot of people saying it's going to be close. But I really don't see it being that close. I see Sean doing what Sean does because he believes he can win. And Earl believes he can win. But I don't believe that Sean has been trained to win because... His daddy seemed like he wants all the spotlight. But I'm not going to get into all that. I'm going to just say, I believe Earl is going to negate everything that Sean comes with. For everybody to keep downplaying Earl's strength and saying he hasn't faced any, any adversity in the ring, I be able to ask the same question with the common opponent that they've had. Sean lost to the guy. Earl beat the guy. And that kid, that guy's killed Brook. So, with that being said, ladies and gentlemen, I say Earl Spence and Sean Porter are going to have what everybody's looking for, the dog fight. I just think it's going to be hard, hard for Sean be able to do what he thinks he's setting up to do. And that's to be the matador of the bull. Well, the only person that I've ever really seen bull rushing anyone in, in the fight game is Sean. But I'd like to see the matador. Or should I say I'd like to see the bull turn from the bull to the matador. But I'm picking Earl Spence. If it goes to the decision, I'll give Sean three rounds. Three. I'll give Earl the rest. But I got a feeling the way Sean fights, Sean Porter may get dropped twice. And who knows, the fight might not even go 12. But I'm looking, don't be surprised to see Sean Porter touch the canvas twice. And the fight being over. So, here at MZ Talks Boxing, we riding with Earl Spence. Here at MZ Talks Boxing, we're giving Sean Porter three rounds. And remember, tune in to Marlowe's Corner so you can listen to Trey X call the fight. I'll be back after the fight is over to see if my predictions come true. I'll let you boy.